come in and for those of you online, it's good to be with you and God is a good God. Amen. Tonight I just want to impress on you strongly that I want to talk about the two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. We belong to a kingdom and we are in conflict with a rival kingdom. A rival kingdom. We belong to the kingdom of light and the rival kingdom is the kingdom of darkness. And whether you like it or not, it is what it is. And we are not fighting to win a battle. The battle is already won. We are fighting from the place of strength, not weakness. And our responsibility is to superimpose or enforce the victory that is already won. It's like the law enforcement agents. Their responsibility is to enforce the law. That's all. And if they don't enforce the law, you and I may know what the law is, but we don't have the mandate and the authorization to enforce the law. You see what I'm saying? So I can see you break the law and I can't arrest you. And it doesn't matter how much I know the law. An attorney can see you misbehaving, breaking the law in your community and in your city, but the attorney can't arrest you. He can't. Why? He's not a law enforcement agent. He's not been given the authorization to arrest you. So even though he knows you are in violation, he can't arrest you. It's the same thing spiritually. The church is the law enforcement agent of God. Giving the spiritual authorization or mandate to deal with the enemy, to arrest the enemy. Luke 10, 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Yeah. He said, Behold, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. Therefore, go in my name. Amen? Amen. So, you have to understand when we're talking about spiritual conflict, you must appreciate the fact that we are fighting from the point of strength and not weakness. We are not fighting to win any battle or to win the war. The war is already won. So you must understand that. And I want you to look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15 from the message translation to establish the foundation that we are not in war to win any battle. It's already won. The battle is won and all that is required of you and I is to enforce the victory. Because if it is not enforced, even though we have the victory, it's like it's like your dad or, or your grandfather or grandmother was 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 very wealthy, and they left you a property. They will something to you, and someone puts up an objection or a fight, or will raise an objection to say that that will is illegal or takes an injunction against the will, you have to go to court and fight. And even though the property belongs to you according to the will, until you go to court and fight and leave the injunction and have the judge to decide in your favor, the property and the money is yours, but you can't have it. You don't have access to it. It's the same thing when it comes to the promises of God. The victory is won. The blood is shed. The job is done. But there is an opposition. There is a resistance. Somebody is raising an objection to say that you can't have it or he's not going to let you have it. So what do you do? You put up a counter petition. If you don't put up a counter petition 
then he has taken an injunction, even though it is yours, according to what is written, you still don't have access to it. Do you get it? Yes. There are rules of engagement. And, and that is the reason why a lot of folks in the church don't understand why Jesus has done all these things for you and I, and yet for whatever reason it's like we don't have access to it. When it comes to healing, the Bible said that by his stripes, not we are healed, we were. And if we were, then we are. And if we are, then we appropriate what happened. So it's not automatic. You have to enforce it. You have to superimpose it. Because somebody is raising an objection. Somebody from your bloodline. Somebody from your father's background or your mother's background is raising an objection and is saying that you don't qualify for that blessing. Somebody is saying that the women of this family don't marry or must not have children when they marry or they must not stay married or the men of this family don't have to be mega, don't have to be financial moguls and don't have to rise to the top. And if they get to the top, they must come down or they must end up in shame or in defeat or failure or something must go wrong with them. There is something in the bloodline that happened to the ancestors that has become a demonic legacy in the bloodline to affect the men and the women of that bloodline. So God has blessed you and there is an objection. Grandfather, grandmother left you an inheritance. And some sibling or somebody in the family has raised an objection and has gone to court and taken an injunction against the inheritance and against the will. To say that, no, you can't have it. And as long as it's in court, it's yours. You don't have access to it. And even if you win the case, they can appeal. And go to appeal court. And end at Supreme Court. And as long as the case is still in court, everything will to you is yours, but you don't have access to it. That is the battle we are fighting. And the church don't understand that. We just read the word and think it's automatic. It's not automatic. You got to override the demonic objections and appeals by the blood of Jesus. Look at the book of Colossians 2, 14 and 15, message Col translation. Colossians 2, 14 and 15, mm -hmm. message translation. When you were stuck in your old sin, dead life. Stuck in a mad past, right. You were incapable of responding to God. You couldn't respond to God because you were desensitized. God brought you alive. Uh -huh. Right along with Christ. Uh -huh. Think of it. Yeah. All sins forgiven. All sins forgiven. The slate wiped clean. Somebody say, my sins are forgiven. My and are my forgiven. slate is wiped clean by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead. That old arrest warrant. Any arrest warrant. Cancelled and the nailed. The enemy has against us and our children is cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Any warrant for your arrest is cancelled. Cancelled. Any warrant spiritual assassins has yeah. for your destruction and for your demise. For the destruction and demise of your children, your grandchildren, your loved ones, and them that concerns you home and abroad. That warrant is cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Cancelled. Say cancel, 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 cancel. Say any warrant, any warrant. The prince of the power of the air, the prince of the power of the air, the monster of the sea, Leviathan, the monster of the sea, Leviathan. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, ask for my arrest, ask for my arrest. The arrest of anyone that concerns the me, the arrest of anyone home that and concerns. abroad, home and abroad, is cancel, cancel, is cancel by cancel. the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Say any warrant, any warrant that the tyrant, that the tyrant of the universe has, of the universe for has, my arrest, for my my arrest and demise and demise is cancel it's cancel abolish abolish by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus amen amen go ahead 
canceled and nailed to Christ's cross. Uh -huh. He stripped all the spiritual tyrants. He stripped what? All. All what? Spiritual tyrants. Spiritual what? Tyrants. They are tyrants. Their job is to intimidate and to threaten. Today may anything that threatens your life be vanquished in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Whatever threatens your existence, your investment, your health, your marriage, your sons, your daughters, and your future, and your legacy, let it be abolished in the abolished name of Jesus. Abolished in the name of in the Jesus. Name of, let it vanquish by the blood of Jesus. Say vanquish. Vanquish. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let nothing threaten our lives. Yes, Henceforth. Say henceforth. Henceforth. Let nothing threaten my life. Let nothing threaten by my air, life. By air, by land, nor water. By air, by Let land, nor water. Let nothing threaten. Let nothing threaten. My future. My future. Or that which concerns me. Or that which concerns me. In the name of Jesus. You believe it. Put your Jesus. hands together. Go ahead. Stripped all the spiritual tyrants uh -huh. in the universe uh -huh. of their sham authority. Of their what? Sham authority. Of their what? Sham authority. Of their what? Sham authority. You know why he says that? Because the devil doesn't have authority. He has power, but he doesn't have authority. Mm. Because you can't have authority if you are a rebel. Mm -hmm. Authority it's given to those under authority. Mm -hmm. And because he rebelled against authority, he can't have authority. Mm -hmm. He has power, but he doesn't have authority. Mm -hmm. Because all authority is delegated. Say delegated. Delegated. Yeah. And because he's a rebel and is not subject to authority, he can't have authority. So whatever authority he has is false authority. Mm -hmm. And Jesus stripped him of it. Go ahead, look at what happened. All the spiritual tyrants in the universe of the Asham authority. Mm -hmm. Stripped. Say stripped. Stripped. Say any trusted weapon. Any trusted weapon. The enemy has over me. The enemy has over me. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Let him be stripped. Let him be stripped. Stripped of that weapon. Stripped of that weapon. Stripped of every trusted stripped weapon. Stripped of every trusted weapon. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. He stripped all the spiritual tyrants in the universe of the Asham authority uh -huh. at the cross. And march them naked through the streets. Baluka dalagazus, ikado de balaga dawasis. Just lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. Makata laba, ikuta magadi li. Mazute kete debe, ikuta laga dula. Akadi manu 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 you see what he did? He stripped them and did what? March them naked. Naked. Through you know the what streets. it means? That means they became defenseless. Powerless. March them naked through the streets. Wow. So you have to understand where we are coming from. You must have this understanding before we approach anything. That we are not Fighting the enemy from the place of weakness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are in this from the place of strength. From the place of strength. We are coming on the grounds of the finished work of the cross. Say, I come on the grounds of the finished work. I come on the grounds of the finished work. Of the cross. Of the cross. Say, I come on the grounds. I come on the grounds. Of the blood shed. Of the blood shed. Yeah. That is the premise we are coming from. Mm -hmm. And you must have that understanding. Mm -hmm. So we are not victims. Mm -hmm. We are not casualties. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. We are victors. Yes. Because we have the backing of heaven. Amen. You know, like the judge. Mm -hmm. The judge can be a very young lady or a young man. And you can be, a judge can be maybe 30 or 40 years. And you can be 60, 70 years attorney. It's possible that you even taught that judge mm -hmm. at the school of law. Mm -hmm. And the judge is sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. And you come with your client and you are talking. 
And the judge will say, please, watch yourself, counsel, lest I hold you in contempt of court. court. <laughs> and then the judge decides and says, this is my decision. That is it. As soon as the judge pronounces judgment, you become the property of state. And at that very moment, the judge may be so little and small, but authority is speaking. The police takes hold of you immediately. Mm -hmm. And if you resist the arrest, there will be reinforcement of the police. Mm -hmm. If the police can't handle it, the military will step in. Mm -hmm. If the military can't, there will be all kinds of special troops and forces that will come in. You belong to state. You are property of the state until the judge or a higher judge overrides or overrules that judgment. Mm -hmm. You belong to state. Your freedom is taken. Mm. That is what you call authority. authority. <laughs> and demons don't have authority. Mm. They have power. Mm -hmm. They have ability. Mm -hmm. They deceive. Mm -hmm. They threaten. Mm -hmm. They intimidate. They put fear. Mm -hmm. They are tyrants. Mm -hmm. That's who they are. So when we're dealing with the enemy, you must have that understanding so clear. So you don't entertain any fear or any intimidation. You must be clear about that. That we are dealing with the enemy from the place of strength and not weakness. Amen. And the victory is already won. Amen. And our responsibility is to enforce the victory and appropriate the finished work of the cross. Amen. Because if you don't do that, even though it is done, you can't have it. That's, that is what the rules of engagement allow. So we're talking about two opposing kingdoms. Quickly, come with me to Matthew chapter 12, verse 26. Matthew 12, 26. Matthew 12, 26. Somebody say two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. Yeah. And if Satan cast out Satan, uh -huh. he is divided against himself. Uh -huh. How shall then his kingdom stand? How shall then... His kingdom stand. How shall then? His kingdom stand. How shall then? His kingdom stand. So it's clear that Satan has a kingdom. Say the adversary has a kingdom. The adversary has a kingdom. Okay, look at verse 28. But if I cast out devils mm -hmm. by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. So Satan has a kingdom and God has a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Say two rivalry kingdom. Two rivalry kingdoms. Say two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. So there's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. Yes. And you belong to the kingdom of light. And so you are an adversary to the kingdom of darkness. Yes. That's what the battle, the battle is all about. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a citizen of the United States. And enemies of the United States don't like citizens of America. Mm -hmm. It's simple as that. I'm told right now, citizens of America are not allowed to come into Europe for now. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. That's more European countries <laughs> are bluffing the whole almighty America <laughs> because of COVID-19. Can you believe that? But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. And that is what it is. So there are two opposing kingdoms. You belong to one kingdom. And the people on the other side of the, their kingdom don't like you, neither will you or should you like them also. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yes, sir. Say two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. And, and, and the kingdom of darkness assignment is to oppose you. So tonight, we want to break every opposition mm -hmm. and every opposing spirit. Amen. Because that is Satan's assignment in all of our lives to oppose the will of God and oppose the work of God. That's why Jesus said the other day, he said, for this purpose the Son of God was made manifest that he might what? Destroy the works of the devil. So as you are sitting hearing me right now, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, Satan's number one priority in your life is to oppose Oppose you and oppose the will of God for your life. Mm. That's it. 
That's why Jesus taught them the other day and he said, pray that thy will be done and that thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. How does the kingdom come? How is the will of God manifest or made manifest? Through prayer. It is in the place of prayer that his kingdom is made manifest and that the will of God is done at the place of prayer. Why? Because there is an opposing kingdom. Jesus. Say an opposing kingdom. An opposing kingdom. Yeah, the kingdom of God stands an, as an opposition mm -hmm. to the enemy's power and kingdom. Yeah. And the enemy's kingdom, darkness, also is standing as an opposition to God's will. To God's purpose. Mm -hmm. To God's plan. For all of our lives. Mm -hmm. But from tonight. Mm -hmm. And as we get into the fasting and prayer tomorrow. Let every opposition break. Break. Let every opposition vanquish. Vanquish. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come with me to Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 and 13. Daniel chapter 10 verse 12 and 13. Daniel 10 12 and 13. Say opposing kingdoms. Opposing kingdoms. Go ahead. Then said he unto me. Fear not, Daniel, yes. for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand uh -huh. and to chasten thyself before thy God, uh -huh. thy words were heard, uh -huh. and I am come for thy words. Uh -huh. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. Uh -huh. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me and I remain there with the kings of Persia. So he said in the 12th verse, from the first day you prayed to have understanding, your words came out. And I came in response the first day. But for 21 days, I've been opposed. And I've been hindered for 21 days by the ruling spirit of this geographical location. Mm. By the master spirit mm. Who commands and controls mm -hmm. this geographical location or this nation? There are ruling spirits. Mm. There are master spirits Jesus. assigned to cities and to nations and to communities mm. and to families wow. and to tribes. Master spirits. Jesus. To enslave them. To hold them at ransom. Mm. To oppose the will of God for their lives. Mm. To oppose the purposes of God. And to make sure they don't go any further. Mm. And so when Daniel prayed and fasted, from the first day, from the first day, heaven responded. But for 21 days, there was no manifestation. Nothing was happening. Because his angel has been opposed or resisted. And, and hear me, the only reason why Daniel made it because Daniel's goods was held in customs. <laughs> Satanic customs intercepted his goods. Held it in transit. And the only thing that brought Daniel's angel through was persistence. Somebody say persistence. Persistence. Because he didn't quit. He didn't give up. He persisted and the angel came in response to Daniel's persistent prayers. And the angel said, Daniel, from the first day you prayed, I was sent 21 days ago to come to you. But for the past 21 days, I've been opposed. Say opposing kingdoms. Opposing kingdoms. I had this lady in one of my churches, beautiful girl. This one is wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, that's all I said. I said wonderfully made. Uh -huh. I didn't say anything else. Uh -huh. Yeah, I said wonderfully made. Wonderfully made. But anytime she got into a relationship and was dating somebody, as soon as they agree to marry, the person will die. Ooh. 
After the last one died, I said, girl, it's enough. I said, no more dating until further notice. I'm putting an embargo on dating now. And I said, any man that comes around you, I will block him until you go through deliverance. And as we began to talk, you realize that spiritually, she was married in the spirit to a spirit. And the spirit was a very jealous spirit. And she sleeps in the night and will see the spirit coming to sleep with her. And that spirit won't allow a man in her life. And I said, until we deal with that spirit, get rid of it and have you acquitted and discharged and abolish the legal rights and claims and argument of that spirit and stop the objection he keeps bringing up in relationship between you and a man, you have to stop dating men. You can't be dating people. Because the only way she can successfully date a man and marry, the man must be more anointed than that spirit. Yes, sir. And if the man is not spiritual and anointed than that spirit, the man will die. I dealt with one of my spiritual daughters recently, married to one of my pastors, and he died. So I, I said, to the bishop, tell her to come see me. So when she come, I said, is this your first marriage? She said, no. So I said, tell me about, this was the third man. I said, tell me about the two. As soon as she one, two, I said, oh, I see. It's a vicious cycle. And I said, you are not marrying anymore to further notice. You can't just marry any man. Whoever you marry must be very anointed. And you have to be released from whatever, number one, the curse is. There is a curse responsible for this situation. And number two, we have to break that curse. You need to be released from that curse. We need to abolish the curse. And we need to arrest the demonic spirit or what I call the spiritual policeman or the messenger of Satan policing the curse. Mm -hmm. Because if you break the curse and you don't deal with the messenger of Satan policing the curse, he will keep on finding illegal ways to enforce it. Mm. Jesus. That teaching Papa heavy. Ooh. Bishops know something he's not telling me. <laughs> but there are serious issues. And these things are real. Yeah. And you start investigating and you'll be surprised. The kinds of things that comes up. And these people are born again. Holy Ghost feel and they are in the church. But for whatever reason, Satan is still exercising some legal rights. Mm. Lift up your right hand. Say by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I abolish. I abolish. Every legal right. Every legal right. And legal argument. And legal argument. Satan has over me. Satan has over me. By the reason of my bloodline. By the reason of my bloodline. By the sins. By the sins. Of my bloodline. Of my bloodline. And by self-committed sins. And by self-committed sins. I abolish by the blood of Jesus. I abolish by the blood of Jesus. Every Every legal right, every legal right, and legal argument, and legal argument that gives the enemy, that gives the enemy the audacity, the audacity to raise an objection, to raise an objection, to oppose, to oppose the manifestation, the manifestation of the will of God for the will of God for my life. Let it be abolished. Let it be abolished. Even now, even now, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I put my hands together as I put my hands together. Let it be abolished. Let it be abolished. 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 Abolish. We abolish. We abolish. Let it be abolished. Let it be abolished. Let it be abolished. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Sit down for two minutes. Go man, son. So you realize here that Daniel was a prophet. And from the first day of the fast, and he prayed, heaven responded. And the need and the answer 
to what he needed, the understanding of God's plan for the children of Israel, for their emancipation from the Babylonian captivity was established. And an angel came to bring him an understanding. But the angel was opposed. Mm -hmm. Say two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. They are rival kingdoms. They don't like each other. Mm -hmm. Light and darkness don't coexist. Mm -hmm. And from the first day, he was the angel was opposed. Mm -hmm. But Daniel did not give up. Mm -hmm. He kept on praying. Mm -hmm. He kept on interceding. He kept on fasting. Yeah. He held his grounds and said, I'm not giving up. I'm standing my grounds in prayer till I see the manifestation of the glory of God. I'm not giving in. And there was an angelic reinforcement. Say angelic reinforcement. Angelic Say, reinforcement. I call for angelic reinforcement. I call for Say, angelic. I call for angelic assistance. Call for angelic Say, I assistance. call for angelic intervention. I call for angelic in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I call for angelic undergettings. I call for Say, angelic. I call for angelic undertakings. I call for angelic by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. And an angel of the Lord came and assisted him, and he broke through. Can you imagine? Ladies and gentlemen, if an angel needs divine assistance, who do you think you are doing church by Zoom? Ah. All alone by yourself. <laughs> Come on, church. Mm -hmm. Somebody talk to me. Yeah. I'm talking about an angel of the Lord mm -hmm. needed help and assistance. Mm -hmm. And you are sitting home with fear. Praying all alone by yourself, mm -hmm. depressed, mm -hmm. confused, afraid to die. Mm -hmm. An angel of the Lord, Michael, needed help mm -hmm. to break through mm -hmm. the enemy's opposition and resistance. Mm -hmm. If an angel of the Lord needed help, what makes you think that you are okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. It's just a matter of time. And we'll see how okay you are. Everybody needs somebody. Even an angel needed an angel. Uh -huh. An angel needed an angelic assistance uh -huh. and reinforcement to break through. Mm -hmm. If an angel needed help, who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Tonight, let Every spiritual resistance be broken. Broken. Every spiritual resistance in the air, let it be broken. Broken. Every spiritual resistance from the sea and the waters, let it be broken. Be broken. Every spiritual resistance from any quarters of the universe, let it be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus, broken. Broken. So we see, we see a resistance to the answered prayers of Daniel. Resistance. Opposition. You know, the other day, David said, by my God, I have run through a troop. And by my God, I have leaped over a wall. That wall is what we call unseen barriers. Somebody say unseen barriers. Unseen barriers. There are unseen barriers holding somebody back. Keeping back your finances. Holding back your manifestation. Mm. But after tonight. Mm. And after the 72 hours. Slow. Let every unseen barriers fall. Fall. I said unseen barriers fall. Fall. In the name of Jesus. Let unseen barriers fall. Put your hands together. Stamp your feet and say fall. 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 Say, I command unseen command barriers unseen fall. Barriers. Unseen barriers fall. fall. Demolish. In the name say, of Jesus. Demolish. Yes, Demolish. Sir. Demolish fall in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down for one minute. In the name of Jesus. Sit down for a minute. Come with me, please. Come with me to Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 2 and the 18 verse. Chapter 2 and the 18 verse. Wherefore we would have come unto you. Even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Who is speaking here? Paul. You know who is speaking here? Paul. He said, even I, Paul. 
Did you see the terminology? Even I, Paul, I speak in tongues more than you all. I've been to the third heavens. I've seen Jesus. Even I, Paul, I'm very anointed. I'm heavy. I'm deep. Aha. I'm a spiritual mogul. Aha. He said, even I, Paul, yes, Satan what? In the... It means Satan opposed him or resisted him. Even though he knows he will not win, he always has a way to try. And any attempt the enemy makes on anyone here from tonight, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. either from the air or the land or from the waters, yes, Lord. by the power of the blood of Jesus, yes, Lord. let it be vanquished in the name of vanquished. Jesus. I said, let it be vanquished in the vanquished. name of Jesus. Name let it be bound in the name of bound. Jesus. Somebody say, bound, bound. bound. Bound in the name Bound of Jesus. Bound intercept, 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 intercept. Say I intercept, I intercept the enemy, the enemy in the air, in the air, on land, on land, on water, on water, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus, Jesus, block him off, block him off. Block him off. In the name of Jesus. Say two opposing kingdoms. Two opposing kingdoms. Hear me, folks. His job is to oppose you and to resist us. His assignment is to hinder, to frustrate, and to delay, and to hinder your breakthrough, to block your testimony. So you are serving God, and you don't have a testimony. And if you don't have a testimony, you don't have victory. And that is what he does. And that's why you can't relent. That's why you can't quit. That's why you can't stand down. That's why you can't give up. That's why having done all, you have to stand and stand and keep standing and stand till you see the manifestation. Somebody say stand, stand. Stand, stand. Having done all to what? Stand. stand. And then he says stand therefore. Do you get it? Stand and stand therefore. In praise. In worship. In prayer, yes, sir. in fasting, yes, sir. in faith, yes. stand and stand therefore. Because mm. we are dealing with opposing kingdoms. Mm. And his assignment is to oppose the will of God for your life. Mm. To resist you. Mm. Paul said, I would have come once and again. But I was hindered. But he didn't tell us exactly what happened. But he said, something opposed me. Something prevented me. Something resisted me. I pray that from tonight by the blood of Jesus, nothing will oppose and hinder you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From the heavens above yes, or from Jesus. the earth beneath. Yes, let nothing oppose the will of God. In the name of in Jesus. In the air, on land and on water. Yes, by Lord. the blood of Jesus, I decree Jesus. and declare, let nothing oppose the will of God anymore. Let nothing oppose your breakthrough. Yes. Let nothing oppose your blessings. Yes. Let nothing hinder anyone anymore. Yes. Let nothing hinder this church. Yes. By the blood of Jesus, let nothing hinder our sons yes. and our daughters. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Say, I declare by the blood of Jesus. I declare by the blood of Jesus. Our wives will not be widows. Our wives will not be widows. Our children will not be fatherless. Our children, children will, will not be fatherless. fatherless. In the name of Jesus. In the, In the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. No father. No father. No mother. No mother. Of this house. Of this house. That concerns. That, that concerns us. Us. Or this house. Or this house. Shall bury a son. Shall bury a son. A daughter. Or a daughter. Or a grandchild. Or a grandchild. By any means. By any means. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree. I decree. I command, I command, divine, divine, divine escape, 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 esc
a troop. A troop. A troop here stands for a legion. A legion is 3,000 footmen and 3,000 horsemen. A troop. I have run through 6,000 demons. And after running through a troop, I have leaped over a wall. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that after running through the troop, that would be it. But after you run through the troop, the next thing you meet a wall. And David said, I went through a troop, and then the next thing was a wall, and I, I he said I skip over the wall. Hear me. The wall is coming down. It's coming down. Let every wall come down. Come down. Every wall in the air. Yes. Every wall on land. Yes. Every wall on water. Yes. Let it come down. 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 Come situation mm -hmm. you see your political situation mm -hmm. yeah you have two political parties right now mm -hmm. opposing each other mm -hmm. and do you see the extent they go to mm -hmm. every political party is going to find a debt it's going to find something to discredit you mm -hmm. that's what it's all about mm -hmm. you see how they play mm -hmm. in the spirit is more dirty and dangerous mm -hmm. than even the natural yeah. They have to find something. Yeah. They dig your bloodline. Uh -huh. Go to your background, your past. Find anything to discredit you. Right. 
to make sure you don't get to the next level mm -hmm. to ensure that you don't attain to your highest achievement or goal in life mm. but i declare by the blood of jesus by the blood any argument yes and any case yes and any evidence jesus satan has yes, yes. any legal ground jesus any legal argument jesus that he has put up yes. jesus from the heavens yes from the air yes from the water yes from the land yes by the blood of jesus, by the blood of jesus. Right, right now right now let it be dismissed let it be dismissed let it be abolished be abolished and be dismissed and be dismissed put your hands together in the name of jesus let it be abolished let it be celebrated Let it be celebrated at home. At home. In the name of Jesus. Bring it to the fire. Let it be dismissed. Let it be celebrated. 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 Philippians 2 9 to 11. Let the Lordship of Jesus Christ be superimposed. Amen. Say I superimpose. I superimpose. And enforce. And enforce. The Lordship of Jesus Christ. The Lordship of Jesus Christ. Over things. Over things. That are in heaven. That are in heaven. That are on earth. That are on earth. That are under the earth. That are under the earth. Let the knee. Let the knee. Of things. Of things. Opposing us. Opposing us. That are in heaven. That are in heaven. That are on earth. That are on earth. That are under the earth. That are under the earth. Let the knee bow. Let the knee bow. I command every knee to bow. I command every knee to bow. Every knee. Every knee of any opposition, of any opposition, of things in heaven, of things in of heaven, things in the air, of things in the air, things on land, of things on land, things in the sea, of things in the sea, in the waters, in the waters. I command, I command the knee, the knee of every, of every resistance, resistance, opposition, opposition. Bow, 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 let the tongue of every opposition of every opposition of things of things invisible 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 and visible in heaven in heaven on earth and on earth that are under the earth that are under the earth confess 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 acknowledge 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 the lord the lord of jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ is law is law jesus christ jesus christ is law is law jesus jesus is law is law 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 over things over things that are in heaven that are in heaven law law over things over things that are on earth that are on earth law law over things over things that are under the earth that are under the earth Claim. I proclaim the Lordship of Jesus, Lordship Lordship of Jesus. Jesus. over the heaven, over, over the heaven, over the air, over the air, over the water, over the water. I proclaim, I proclaim, and force, and force, to find post, to find post, the Lordship of the Jesus, Lordship of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, over the prince, over the prince, the power of, of the, the power of the air. Jesus Christ is Jesus Lord, Jesus Christ is over the beast, over the beast, the monster, and the monster of the sea, of the sea. Leviathan, Leviathan. I proclaim, I proclaim, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, is Lord. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord. I proclaim the Lordship of the Lordship of Jesus over over coronavirus. coronavirus. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, is Lord over death, over death, over, over, over hell, over, over the grave, over the grave. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, is Lord over poverty, over poverty. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, is Lord over all things, over all things, invisible, invisible, and invisible. I proclaim, I proclaim, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Lord, is Lord. Say it is written, it is written. At the mention, at the mention of the name of Jesus, of the name of Jesus. Jesus. every knee, every knee of things. Of things that are in heaven, that, that are in heaven, heaven, that are on earth, that are on earth, that are under the earth, that are under the earth, shabbat, 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 and every tongue, and every tongue, shall confess, confess, therefore, therefore, I demand, I demand, I command, I command, by the blood, by the blood, the superior, the superior, the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, let every knee, let every knee of things, of things that are in heaven, that are in heaven, that are on earth, that are on earth, that are under the earth, that are under the earth, in the sea, in the sea, bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow,
your name. Bow your knee. Bow your knee. Bow your knee. Confess. 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 That Jesus. That Jesus is Lord. Is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. Is Lord. Over the elements. Over the elements. Over the land. Over the sea. Over the sea. Over the waters. Jesus Christ is Lord. Over every position. Over every position. Over every position. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. 